space all around them. Open up your eyes. If you choose to see, we might make a deal. Hi, my name is Kevin Thompson. I'm the director of Cross World Africa. His first visit to Kenya was in 1982 and he has been touring the country almost every year. 59 years old, Kevin Thompson grew up participating in different sports activities, ending as a successful coach. I can only remember sports always being part of my life. I played baseball, I played a little bit of football, and I was extremely good at track and field and cross country. We won many, many championships. And at least you get an hour in a day of walking and just lightly jogging. Yeah. Most people at his age would probably have untouched themselves from this training, but Thompson still do it every day for leisure and fitness practice. Which are common in older black men in the <laughs> USA. So to keep that under control, yeah. I make sure that I at least get one hour exercise in a day. Mm -hmm. They will see it's a horrible world that we're living in And it's only getting worse What are we fighting for? There's children dying all around us So many stories touch my heart I just want to make it right Time to unite Time to join together About 25 years ago I was uh, hurt in an accident as a firefighter In Boston And uh what had happened was I turned my ankle trying to, you know, I was an EMT on a, on a fire truck and I turned my ankle in a, in a big hole and it turned, in, it turned into a condition called osteochondritis desiccans and they ended up after uh, popping my foot apart, my ankle apart and fraying down the bones and then putting it back together and taking soft bony tissue from my hip and it took about nine months to fuse. And they also put four screws right in the center of the, of the ankle to fuse it together. And uh, luckily enough, it, it, it did work. And uh, a lot of the pain went away. And, uh, but it left me unable to run for a very long time or, or even attempt to, uh, to try to run. Despite suffering serious injuries at his early age, Thompson is glad that he is still able to run. The doctor said I wouldn't be able to run, but uh, fortunately, I, I do try to get out and uh, I get a little running in. But, you know, all things considered, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm happy to be able to uh, do what I do. Stand up for what we believe in. Stand up. Make a choice, stand up, make them hear our voice that shouted louder. Well, something unique about the former Cornell University Athletics coach is his great hospitality here in Kenya. Thompson launched his first charity project way back in 2007. The Keep Kenya Foundation involved fundraising to support different people in Kenya. In the following year, it changed its name to Cross World Africa CWA. Stand up for what we believe in. Stand up, make a choice. Stand up, make them hear our voice that shouted louder. Being the director of this foundation, Thompson is grateful that his initiative has already bore fruit, with many of his donations boost lives of people in counties of Wasingishu, Elgeo, Marakwet, and Nandi. His main function is to help needy families and youth in East Africa. Donating livestock in Nandi County was something memorable to this community. My whole life was was predicated on 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 helping people. Uh, that's all I've ever known, and uh, it, it has remained with me since childhood. And 
you know, I'm happy to, to do this foundation that that helps families here in East Africa. <laughs> Open up your heart, open up your mind, don't blame religion. We all have a choice. If you choose to do things wrong, leaving family so torn, you're wrong, you're wrong. Children in Kamarin Primary School in Elgeyo, Marakwet County, not only receive gifts from Kevin Thompson, but also spend happy moments playing with their great friend. So many stories touch my heart, I just want to make it right. Time to unite, time to join together. Stand up for what we believe in, stand up, make a choice, stand up. Kevin Thompson has done a lot of things to this school since the time he came to this school. It has been several years back. And for the last two years, he did a uh, marvelous work in the school. For example, 2016, he was able to bring us balls. He also gave us, he bought a cardigan to the kids. And then this year again, he did the same thing, provided balls and also bought 100 uh, cardigans or sweaters to our boys and girls in the school. Time to join together, stand up for what we believe in, stand up, make a choice, stand up. I'm just tired of just catching the ball. <laughs> How does it feel playing with them? Oh, it's great. Oh, that's great. They are motivated and they desire one day to be in the U.S. It motivates them also to learn, to ensure that they also become people who can be depended on in, in, in future. You know, there's a need here and, and we're trying to help with that need. And even still, you know, we're not fully meeting their needs. Uh, I wish we could really, really do more. And, and that's one of the things I'm hoping when I go back to the U.S. is to be able to share some of this story and show that you know, uh, every little thing is appreciated here. It's an amazing place of, of how people appreciate whatever someone gives. If it's a, a pair of worn shoes, it's appreciated. If, if it's a, a new uniform, it's, it's appreciated. Make them hear our voice, let's shout it louder. Stand up for what we believe in, stand up. Make a choice, stand up. Make them hear Elizabeth Nyanga Kabuthi works at the Shoe for Africa Hospital where Kevin Thompson has been making frequent visits to make patients smile and see hope in their lives. When, when I think of Kevin, I think of a man who brought life through pictures in this hospital. He was able to capture wonderful moments of the children, their parents and the caretakers. It was amazing to see the life in the photographs. You know, life depicted very positively in the photographs that he took. I remember one time when we were doing, we have a dance session upstairs in the woods. We give the children and their parents an opportunity to dance in order to release anxiety, to release the frustration that is pent up in them. And so we used to, we were doing the African dances and they were captured very vividly in those photos. Let's shout it louder. Stop the fight, 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 stop the Primarily because of Toby Tanza. Toby Tanza helped um, get sponsorship for this hospital. He uh, he's an amazing person. Um, this hospital is one of the very few, if or, or one of two hospitals in all of sub-Saharan Africa that serves young children, and it's a public hospital. Um, so it's an amazing feat for. Toby to have 
gathered enough sponsors to um, build a hospital. And um, as a contribution from Cross World Africa, we thought it'd be great to do a, a photo project of lasting memories. Uh, you know, my own personal story is I, I had my daughter had leukemia when she was nine years old, and um, we didn't know if she would survive. And having a photo of her when she was nine was uh, amazing. Uh, and thank God she uh, she overcame. Uh, Shoot for Africa is amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's wonderful when you have people who just care about children and and, and their needs and, and wants, particularly at a time when when uh, most of these kids don't know what's going on and why they're sick. Um, so whatever we can bring some joy, it was, uh, it was uh, just an amazing opportunity to bring joy to the families. You know, when they see themselves in photos, it, it, it just, it's, for whatever reason, is inspirational to them. And, uh, and, I, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love them you know, 20 years from now. Because what we do also is laminate the photos. What is the inspiration behind all this you do? Well, <clears throat> ever since I was a young young boy, um, one of my childhood heroes was uh, Kipchoge Kano. And Kipche Kipchoge Kano, uh, I can remember when I was young, my brother and I were watching the 1968 Olympics when Kip, Kip Kano won the 1500 meter, uh, which is the metric mile, and he beat a great American named Jim Ryan. And in, in winning, he was so gracious in how he won and, and, and comforted the, the loser who was the American who was supposed to win. You know, he was just an amazing, uh, you know, just showed great character. And after he won the Olympics, he, uh, he came back to his country and he started an orphanage, and, and uh, that orphanage is pretty large right now, and it's called the uh, uh, Leewood Children's uh, Home. And his ex-wife, Phyllis Kano, uh, runs the, the orphanage. And um, he just inspired me to, to give back. And ever since then, I, I always had an affinity for East Africa and want to help families and communities grow and, uh, and prosper and be happy. And so my wife and I decided to create Cross World Africa. And again, Cross World Africa does many things. Our, our main project is we give women cows and goats and uh, primarily in the Nandi and Kapsabat region of, of Kenya. And uh, what we hope and giving them cows is that the cows allow them to help support their families. You know, they sell the milk. Um, by selling the milk, it helps them pay for school fees. It helps them support their families. It's nutritional. You know, and cows are sacred. And, uh, you know, and that's been a, a really, really great project that my wife and I enjoy doing. With all these projects here in Africa, what are the, do you experience any challenges within the yeah, um, you know, the only challenge is, is, is that I wish we could do more. You know, the challenge is, is there's, there's families in need all over and, and families are working hard to overcome, you know, day-to-day um, -day struggles. And I just wish, you know, more people can give because uh, people do work hard and all they need is a little help. And, you know, and, and that's all that I see from my donors is, is, is just the understanding that, you know, a lot of Kenyan families are working very hard and, and, and times are really hard with, with uh, drought and, and other uh, economic issues. Among other charities by the CWA includes the Kibera Food Project in Nairobi and two scholarship programs where Thompson plays the role in mentoring the students. Michelle Obama always says, if someone goes low, you go high. Yeah. I've always, that's how I conduct my life. I don't, I don't let stuff affect me emotionally. But I do feel for some of my, my brothers and sisters that it does affect them. And I do try to support them. 
but I still try to lead my own life of, you know, I'm moving forward. You cannot control me with a word, yeah. you know, or, or an emotion. So I, I, I'm always looking at things very positively and don't, don't let them. And sorry, Kevin, yeah. but I have to run. But yeah, okay, well, thank you. The, my organization, Cross World Africa, we primarily do it in Kenya and Tanzania, but right now we primarily focus in, in Kenya. Yeah, I'm going to give these away to uh, people who donate to the different projects. Yeah, I think the size look good. I really like the running guy <laughs> and the Kenyan flag. It's, it's really, it's really good. Furthermore, the father of two daughters supports growing businesses in the country by becoming one of the all-time best customers. Yeah, but I think yeah, I think they're gonna really like these. The size is just great. Um, yeah, it, it's fun working with you guys. I think uh, you know you guys make very good bracelets, and uh, I'm happy to support you guys. And. Uh, you know, I look forward to helping over the years and, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure the business is going to keep growing. Well, one thing you may not know about the U.S. resident is his future plans of donating bicycles to each child studying at Kamarin Primary School. The bike goes a long way here in Kenya and kids really really appreciate a bike and showing how hard you work to provide a bike uh, would be wonderful and I can see that as a future project to you know give each kid in a grade uh, you know a, a, a bicycle this will be his big goal when he go back to the States at the end of June 2017 <laughs> They have been with us all along. As this marks the end of this story, Thompson leads to his residence as one of the most appreciated people mainly in Kenya. We really we are humbled to tell you you are much welcome, you are very much free and uh, uh, you have to be assured of our abundant blessings with your families wherever they are. And meeting Kevin made me realize the power behind a photograph. My name is Alex Karyanke. Remember to smile. Make them hear your voice that shouted louder.